I'm about to show you how to use an American Express gift card to buy something in a store or online. Along the way, I'll speak about the limitations you have to watch out for, and near the end, I'll show you how to check your balance. In my example, I'll be using this physical one, but these instructions will also work if you received a digital card. If you do have a physical card, you'll need to prepare it. This whole thing here is just the packaging that holds the card inside, so you need to rip it open and take the card out. The card itself is a hard plastic, so don't worry about ripping the card. Note there is no scratch off material to remove. You also don't need to activate this card. The store already activated it when it was first purchased. Moving forward, you need to think of it as a credit card and not a gift card because it has a magnetic strip and a security code on the back and it has a credit card number on the front as well as an expiration date, much like a normal credit card. This card can be used anywhere American Express cards are accepted. Now first I'm going to speak about how to use it to buy things online and then I'll speak about how to use it in a physical store. I'm sure most of you know that when you go to buy something online you add items to your cart and when you're ready to pay you click into that cart and go through a checkout process. That's how most sites do it anyway. To use your gift card you'll want to enter it as a credit card during that checkout process. Do not enter it as a gift card. Let me show you an example using Amazon. Amazon. I've added some items to my cart and I'm ready to pay. So I'll click onto the cart, select proceed to checkout. In the payment methods section, it has defaulted to my regular credit card. I'm going to select change and then select add a credit or debit card. I'll enter the card number, which is the long string of numbers on the front of my gift card. I don't need to bother with the spaces, it'll put them in there for me. For the name on the card, I'm going to put my own name, even though my name is not actually associated with this card, but it'll still work. And that is what American Express says to do when it asks for your name. You have to put something in there. Then I'll input the expiration date that's on the front of the card. By the way, this is not a real expiration date. The card actually never expires, but they put one on there anyway just so you can get through checkouts like this one. This interface did not ask for the security code, but if it did ask me, I would use this three digit code on the back. I'll select add your card and then save it. That card now appears as a payment method next to my other cards. I'll select use this payment method and I'll complete the checkout process. Note that it does not charge your card until they go to ship the item. And that goes for any credit card that you use. At this point, the value on my card is $50. The order was $42. So when they charge for the order, they will reduce the balance to $8. This card cannot be refilled. So later on, I'm going to need to find a way to spend the remaining $8. That kind of creates a problem. If I put something in my online cart that cost $10, and then use this card again when it only has $8 on it, the card will be declined and the order will be put on hold. You cannot use this card to partially pay for an online order like you can with regular gift cards. That makes it hard to spend the entire balance on the card, especially when you're down to just a few bucks. Luckily, there are a couple of ways to spend the remaining balance. One way would be to make an online donation to an organization. So if you know there's $8 left on the card, you can go to that organization's website and donate the exact amount, $8. It would have to be a place that accepts American Express as a payment, of course. The other way to spend the last few bucks on your card involves brick and mortar stores, and that's what I'll cover next. You can go into a physical store and use this gift card like a credit card at the checkout. All you do is select credit as your payment method and swipe the card. If you attempt to charge the card for more than what the balance is, it'll get declined right there at the checkout. However, if you go through a checkout lane that has a human cashier, you can tell that cashier that you're using two payment methods. So if the total for your items is $78 and the balance on your gift card is $8, you can tell the cashier that you want to charge $8 to to the card and you'll pay the rest some other way. The cashier will input 
$8 on their side and tell you to swipe the card, it'll process and it'll reduce the total to $70. And then you can pay the rest with cash or with another card. If you're using a self-scan checkout, it's very unlikely it'll let you split the payment methods like that. At least no checkout system I've ever seen allows you to do that. Those self-scan checkouts are made to be simplistic. Given the scenarios I just covered, it's obviously very important to know your balance, which is what I'll cover next. To check your balance, there is a 1-800 number on the back of the card that you can call. You can check the balance online as well. And if you do, you can also see a transaction history. You'll need to go to the web address listed on the back of the card, which for me is amexgiftcard.com slash balance. On the left, fill out the boxes using the information that's on the front of the card. Note that it'll ask you for a security code, but in this case, it's talking about these four digits on the front of your card, not the three that are on the back. I'm not sure why they do it that way. Once you enter it, it'll tell you the balance right away and it'll show the transactions. It does say here that transactions can take up to 15 minutes to appear, so just bear that in mind. And that's the end of the video. Let me know if it helped you. Have a great day.